North Korea's decision to sentence two American journalists to hard labor sets the stage for possible negotiations between that nation and the U.S. Laura Ling and Yuna Lee were found guilty of a crime against the communist nation for allegedly illegally crossing the border from China into North Korea. The two were sentenced to 12 years in a labor prison as part of the conviction. Experts believe that Pyongyang will likely try to use the women as bargaining chips in a tense standoff with the U.S. over the North's recent nuclear and missile tests. There are other concerns that we and the international community have with North Korea, but those are separate and apart from... Uh, what's happening to the two <coughs> Talks with the communist country to release Ling and Lee could involve a U.S. envoy, with two high-profile names being mentioned as possible negotiators. Bill Richardson has said he's ready to do anything. The governor from New Mexico helped win the release of Americans from North Korea in the 1990s. The second possible negotiator is Al Gore. The former vice president is the founder of Current TV, the television venture both reporters worked for. An administration official says both men have been in contact with the White House and State Department, but neither has been asked to go. Uh, we are pursuing every possible um, approach that we can uh, uh, consider uh, in order to persuade uh, the North Koreans uh, to release them and send these young women home. Meantime, the families of the two California journalists have issued a plea to North Korea's government to let them go. The statement, issued Monday, says Ling has a serious medical condition that will get worse by her sentence in a labor camp. And Lee has a four-year-old daughter who, according to the plea, is beginning to worry about her mother. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.